We spend a ton of time talking about the rise of cloud computing on the show and big data because these are huge long-term stores. People don't understand how long and far out they can go. Do you know that there's something like 20 billion connected devices on Earth right now? And that number keeps growing leaps and bounds. Those devices generate a massive amount of information. But before you can plug it into some fancy analytics software, figure out what it means, you need to organize it. And that's why tonight we're going off the tape with Informatica. That's a privately held company, meaning you can't own shares in it right now, that's the world's leader in enterprise cloud data management. Their software uses artificial intelligence to integrate, parse, and manage data so that other companies can do something useful with it. That may not sound super exciting, but Informatica's got a fabulous read on the technology trends that are revolutionizing the, revolutionizing the way we do business in this country and the world. So let's take a closer look with Anil Chakravarty. He is the CEO of Informatica. To get an update on his company and the Broader industry. Mr. Chakrafarthi, welcome back to Mayab Money. Good to see you, sir. It's Have great a seat. To see you again, Jim. Okay. Great to see you again. First, I just wanted, because I thought this is incredible. You are, um, you, know, you accelerate data driven digital transformation, but what you really are is a company with 10,000 customers. Right. Top 10 of the Fortune 100, 85 of the Fortune 100. 40% of the Forbes Global 2000, and you're not even public. Well, not, not, not yet. No, not yet, but the thing is, is that you've got to be of the companies that are private. The fastest grower we come, I mean, sure, there's going to be Lyft. These other companies are the queue, but you've got the, you are a cloud king. We're seeing really nice growth. In fact, last year actually was the highest revenue ever for the company at $1.2 billion. Yeah, this space around data management, like you just said in your opening, is great because it's powering a lot of these new generation of AI-powered intelligence. Well, let's data. talk about it. When people say, when you say AI, let's yeah. just say you've got tremendous drug for companies. We didn't talk about them last time I talked to you. Yeah. You've got J&J. &J, you know, you do a remark. I mean, you know, that must be one of my favorite companies because it's such a fantastic. Yeah. But you have Amgen. And yeah. in your Amgen, in a little Informatica sheet that you guys gave me, they say you help understand the relationships between patients and using Amgen's medicines. You know, is there artificial intelligence and even trying to figure that out? Yeah, I, what's happening right now in most of these life sciences companies is you have a master data management, which means how you get a full view of data. Typically, it's patient data, clinical data, provider data, as well as the actual drugs that they're working on. So every life sciences company is doing it, as is Amgen and Johnson & Johnson, et cetera. We just announced, by the way, an acquisition. I wanted to announce it on your show of a little company called Allsights. Okay. Allsights is the leader in AI-powered customer insights. So how to get, get customer insights out of a variety of data sources, applying machine learning and AI. And that's the kind of platform that's driving all of these next generation of use of data in companies like life sciences companies. Okay, well, I saw you last at Dreamforce, and I know that you have a close relationship with Salesforce. Is this the kind of thing that would be integrated in your relationship with Salesforce? It is. So what happens is, you know, all of these companies like Salesforce, Adobe, et cetera, right. they are the ones that are providing the last mile of right. dealing with the customers, right. the customer success platforms, whether it's through social media, email, contact centers, et cetera, et cetera, Salesforce. Behind that, you have to have a common data platform that supports all of that. And that data platform is where you apply the machine learning and artificial intelligence. That's what we're talking about. So we integrate really well with Salesforce, with Adobe, with Microsoft, et cetera, to make that happen. You know, I, I saw, you guys also have the FDA. If I were yeah. a drug company, why wouldn't I want the company that the FDA is hired to take tra get, track all these things? And we do the same thing for both the FDA as well as the European Medicines Agency. What they do with the FDA actually uses our software to understand three kinds of important data domains around their entities, which is around the drugs, which is clinical trials and all of that data, around the compounds that go into the drugs because there are different suppliers of the compounds, and then the production facilities. So once they have mastered each of these data elements, they can understand the interactions between them. Example, when there was the hurricane down in Puerto Rico, mm -hmm. as you know, there's a lot of compound production right. in Puerto Rico. So the first thing the FDA did was hey, we're going to have the hurricane in Puerto Rico. It's going to take out the supply from Puerto Rico for a while. How does that impact different compounds, the supply of those compounds, and the drugs? And the FDA was able to use all of this data to do their contingency planning and make sure that the flow of drugs, the supply of critical drugs here in the U.S. was not impacted. 
by That's the, what we do without you guys for that. Yeah. Now, we have uh, Amazon Web Services on you. Have a man, you have a modernization solution with Tableau powered by Amazon Web Services. I mean, I, I, a lot of times I view these companies as, as not as rivals, but you put it all together? No, uh, yeah, so how we're working with them is just, you know, if you take a company like Tableau, yeah. they're one of the leaders in analytics stuff. Because we have them all the time, I think, it's terrific. Exactly. But that, again, that's last mile, right? That's right, that's the okay. last mile. That's the application that a business user would use yeah. to do the analysis. But to do analysis, you need good data. You need right. that trusted data, and that's what we provide. And that data can come from anywhere, and that's where we work with AWS. I know you have Andy on the show yes. today, later today, and we work really closely with them because that they provide that database, they provide that platform as right. a service in order to store the data and process the data, we help manage that data and make it available through tools like Tableau and Power BI and other applications that the business user is using. Wow, you're right in the middle. It's the exactly. kind of thing that we would be, uh, I, at the top of the show, I was talking about what I would kick myself that I did not recommend. Informatica, we want, I would be kicking myself if you were public, but you're not public yet. All right, yeah, this is a fabulous story, and that's Anil Chakravarthy, okay? You can go and look at Anil's stuff. There's a lot of different information, even though that they're private. They provide a lot of stuff to make it so that you know all about them. They have money's back in for you. Booyah! Jim Kramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.